Hello, and welcome to the Teaching and Learning Center's first Evernote screencast. In this screencast, I'm going to cover the basics of Evernote, what the software can do for you, how to get the software, and the basic layout of the program. Evernote is designed for note-taking and organization. Evernote's promise is that through its use, you will be able to remember everything, and on this promise, it delivers. Evernote can be accessed on desktop, web, and mobile device. And when one of these locations is added to or edited, the other locations are almost instantaneously synced. This means that wherever you go, your notes and work will be with you. Getting Evernote on your desktop is very easy. Simply go to the website, evernote.com, then click the Download Now button on the home page. From this point on, downloading Evernote is exactly like downloading any other software from the web. Once this has been done, you are ready to use Evernote on your desktop and on the web. What you can see here is the basic interface of Evernote. There are three primary ways to view this interface, which can be selected here. List, Mixed, and Thumbnail. They all provide the same information. It all comes down to preference. I will be conducting these screencasts using the Mixed view. As you can see, Evernote's interface follows a simple three-column layout. The left panel contains all of your base folders for notebooks, tags, attributes, saved searches, and your trash can. The middle panel displays your notes, either all of them, notes from a specific notebook, or notes from a specific search query. The right column is where you can write new notes and edit past notes. This is where all of your work will be done. You now know the basics of Evernote. This program has a lot of features and it can do a lot for you. Over the following screencasts, I will cover the main features of Evernote individually. Thank you for watching this introduction to Evernote, and I hope that you will check out the following videos.